Is it white? Is it blue? Is it real? Is it fake? It's the dress of 2022. Hey everybody, it's Hallie O'Brien and welcome to the Snow Report presented by Ski Magazine. Guys, the Olympics, they're kicking off this week. The teams have arrived and so have the robots. I mean that with a straight face. Here's the Alpine communications manager for the U.S. Ski and Snowboard team, Megan Harrod. She sent me this video. <laughs> this was posted to her story. Apparently, she's just walking step for step down a hallway with a robot that seems to be sanitizing just her. <laughs> Wild times we're living in, guys. <laughs> Wild times. Meanwhile, back in the States, this is what we're working with. Freaking Roomba with a cardboard blade trying to push the snow. By the time it tries to get this driveway clean, we're going to be preparing for the 2026 Olympics. <laughs> Seven Springs Mountain Resort in Pennsylvania set the world ablaze with this viral video where snow reporter Abby Way gives the Daily Report seemingly oblivious to this struggling skier behind her just slowly slipping to her demise. Good morning skiers and riders. We received another inch of natural snow overnight and it's still coming down right now. So far this week we've received 16 inches of natural snow. Conditions are fantastic right now. We're expecting some pretty cold temps over the next few days, and our snowmaking team is ready to fire up those snow guns and take advantage of every opportunity. If you're planning on joining us over the next couple of days, make sure you dress warm and bring your goggles as well, because like I said, it is gonna be a bit chilly. This video was picked up by both industry and national news. It was viewed over 8 million times and counting on Twitter. I'm just gonna go to the comments on their Instagram just to get some of the best reactions. Conditions are great at Seven Springs. You can even ski down the stairs. I'm in tears from the person in the background. All I heard was, we got snow. And then I died a little from laughing so hard. <laughs> Best snow report ever. I started out with a chuckle to an almost peed myself moment. Poor person in the background. This is why I wear my medical alert device. I once fell leaving a Tom Jones concert. And if I didn't have my medical alert, who knows how long I would have been behind that bush. <laughs> I read that for the first time just now. That was just that delivered. Of course, you know, the keyboard warriors and the cyber detectives out there came out in droves, calling it fake. Oh, it's fake, 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 fake. Is it white, is it blue, is it real, is it fake? It's the dress of 2022. And then of course there's this one, claiming it to be so painfully fake, bad for the sport, not at all funny, and that Seven Springs should be ashamed. Whoa, this just, you, oh my goodness, we gotta lighten up people. Careful, buddy. I hope you're not wearing ski boots because you know what? I would hate to see you slip right off your soapbox. <laughs> To all of you out there that claimed it was fake, good for you. You cracked the code. Of course it's fake. Unbeknownst to the entire internet, I guess outside of Seven Springs' immediate circle, they've been producing these background shenanigans since before the holidays. <laughs> I think in one episode I saw the Grinch get tackled by a Yeti? Or was it Santa Claus? I don't, I don't remember. And I actually think it started in a legit manner when someone actually face planted in the background of one of the conditions updates. <laughs> Probably saw that and they're like, shit, that's more engaging than powder days. <laughs> so how did Seven Springs handle all of this media attention? Well, they produced this brilliant follow-up in the style of the Today Show, complete with silly signs and excitable interviews. It was amazing. <laughs> We're back here at Seven Springs and we have a special guest with us. It's Mrs. Bean, also known as the Struggling Skier. She's visiting us from out of town this week, here to fill us in. How are the conditions? Well, like you said earlier, Abby, the conditions are great. There's so many people here, there's skier everywhere. It's a little slippy out there, but it's okay. Um, everything here is a black diamond, it's pretty crazy. There's good soup up there, but you know what? I'm just happy to be here. There you go, you heard it from Mrs. Bean herself. Come on out and join us this weekend. A little slippy. Keep having fun, Seven Springs. Enjoy this swan song because it's all over come next year's epic ownership change. I have to pour one out for Slippy Struggling Skier. All right, let's check in with the folks at Open Snow to get the forecast. A strong nor'easter delivered one to two feet for areas along the East Coast during the final weekend of January. Areas across the Pacific Northwest, Western Canada, and far northern U.S. Rockies woke up to a powder day on Monday as a strong storm impacted the region. A storm also brought moderate to heavy snow to southern Colorado and northern New Mexico from Tuesday night through Wednesday to kick off the month of February. Looking further ahead, the storm track will target the northern U.S. and Canada as the western United States continues to wait 
for its next healthy storm cycle. So there you have it. If you like this show, hit that like button, share it around to a friend who will like it too. If you're watching on YouTube, consider subscribing. I'm Hallie O'Brien. This is The Snow Report. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.